Well, I'm doing some work on a van that I bought for a Gambler 500 and wanted to show you guys how to repair transmission pan threads. Um, went ahead and dropped the pan to clean it out. It's leaking like crazy and at least four of these bolts were stripped out. Went ahead and repaired two of them and decided why not go ahead and make a video on the other two. So this is a Chrysler town and country. Not that it matters because most transmissions are going to have aluminum cases and it's going to be the same repair procedure for pretty much all of them. Um, so a lot of times you'll find you're tightening one of these bolts here and then right when it gets to almost being fully tight it starts to get loose again. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill out the threads. We're going to drill out the transmission here. Here's one that I already did and there's another one that I already did. So um, there's a bunch of different ways you can go about this but I'm going to show you um, the easiest way. So the first thing you've got to do is go ahead and pull out your bolt um, and then we need to figure out what size it is. So this one is an M8. If you have a tap and die kit, well you're going to need that for all of this. So buy a tap and die kit, figure out what size your um, existing hardware is. So we're going to bump this up. Since it's an M8, we're going to go to M10. That's going to give us uh, enough room inside here to where we've got good threads to grab onto and we're going to drill this out. I'm going to put a link in the description for a few things, tap and die kit if you don't have one, and then also a very helpful link that's going to have all the uh, drill bits or drill bit sizes that you're going to need. So for example, for an M10 thread, we're going to need the appropriate drill bit that's going to have the uh, minimum diameter for that thread pitch, uh, which in this case is 21 64ths. Um, so it's going to be nice to have a really good drill bit set because there are going to be some tap sizes that are not going to come in a typical set. The normal uh, closest drill bit size to that is going to be 5 16th, which is a little bit too small. But anyway, 21 64ths is what we're going to use for an M10 by 1.25. What you can do, um, so I just go, I have tons of hardware because I have a mechanic shop, so I just went around and found some hardware that was the right size. So this is what we're going to use. Um, I could have go ahead and I could have cut this M10 bolt to the proper length, but I didn't care enough to do so. Uh, we're just going to use a spacer instead, which is just this nut here. So that's what we're going to use pretty much, and it's going to look similar to that when it threads in. So uh, first up, we're going to go ahead and drill this hole out, and then we're going to tap the threads. What you could do in some situations like this one is since you have access to the top, you could just go ahead and drill it out completely and then stick any nut and bolt in there and just pinch it, right? Well, this one back here, it has a blind hole, so uh, we can't do that. So I'm gonna show you that method because this one's obviously easier and there's no tapping involved. You would just drill it out and then stick a bolt through it. All right, so we're gonna start off with this one. That's the easy one. Make sure you got safety glasses, of course, because uh, you do not want aluminum shavings in your eyes. And we'll go to town. Okay, so that one, obviously, like I said, has an outlet up on the top, so that one's going to be a whole lot easier. Uh, next up, we're going to grab our tap, and like I said, in this case, this one is an M10 by 1.5. Don't just take this, because that's what I said I'm using. Um, obviously, you're going to need a different size for each one. Now, some of them, you'll be able to get your tap handle in here, but some, it's going to interfere with the pan right here. Um, a lot of times, you can get lucky and a socket will actually fit um, on the end of your tap but more than likely you're going to get unlucky and you're going to have to go with something else so like in this case right here this is going to interfere so what you can actually use if you can't fit a socket on there is uh, like a crescent wrench so we'll grab on the bottom of this and then i'm going to push up with a pretty good amount of force as i'm turning it because we want to set our first threads here. If you're not pushing up hard enough, you'll just sit here and spin and spin on the bottom and you won't get anything done. So I'm gonna push up and start to thread. Now this aluminum is pretty weak, so I really don't have to go back and break the chip, but sometimes if you feel like it's really binding up, you'll have to do that. So like it's getting a little hard there, so I'll go ahead and break the chip and keep going. Now in this case, Obviously, since the drill bit went all the way through, I can thread as long as I want to and poke it out the top 
and uh, we're not going to have any problems. So I'm going to go ahead and thread through the rest of this. And we'll stick a bolt in. Now, if you can't, uh, if the transmission pan is just way too deep, um, then, of course, you could remove the, move the pan, and you'd have much, much better access to this whole job. It just depends on, uh, you know what, sometimes you don't want to be covered in transmission fluid. So, if there's any way you can figure out how to do it with the pan on, that is super nice. Alright, so that's it for this repair. This one is done. All we're going to do is uh, throw a bolt in here. But this is the same process, minus one step for if you didn't want to put a bolt in. Obviously, you wouldn't have to thread it. You could just stick a nut on top. Pick any size bolt you want. You can even pick one that was a little too small. All right, so now I've got this guy here. And we can just thread him all the way down in there. The uh, larger diameter is going to be a lot stronger. Just make sure you follow your torque specs. All right, and there we go. That one's done. So for this back one, we're going to follow the exact same process, uh, but I'm just, I have a blind hole back here, so I've got to be a little bit more careful uh, when I'm drilling that one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to repair the threads in your transmission pan. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.